Hey guys, it's me, Jeffrey Thompson, here with another video review of your latest technology. And uh, today I've got a delivery from Amazon, which is very exciting. And it's in the box came, you wait for it, the Magic Mouse, Apple Magic Mouse version 2.0, which has been shipping since uh, fall of last year. And uh, I thought I'd do a review on the mouse today because there aren't many reviews out there on the mouse on the web. And uh, I thought there was a gap in the market uh, for, for one, so I thought I'd put one out there for you guys. I would like to say I haven't done any uh, uh, video reviews recently because I've been a bit uh, upset by the level of trolling I've received on my, my blog, especially um, especially when I wanted to reference to my, uh, my late mother uh, about uh, having a wank of your my late mother, which was really strange, the video that whoever sent me that, and you clearly are a very strange person, and another reference to my cat, which was uh, weird because I don't have a cat, I have a dog. But anyway, uh, I digress. Now I'll move back to the product review. Okay, so it's a uh, it's a review of this, which is the Apple Magic Mouse uh, version 2.0, which is shipping with the iMac and the Mac Pro, but not the Mac Mini. And I would love it if Apple would take note of one of my videos someday and actually ship it with the stuff that it needs it. Because I don't want to use a Windows mouse or have to go and buy my own separate mouse for using my Mac Mini, which is a pain. So take note, Apple, if you're watching. Okay, um, so anyway, going on to the mouse, it's got this one wonderful, fantastic, semi-hemispherical dome shape on the top, which is just gorgeous on your palm. Really uh, fits the palm nicely. Um, easy to click, too, just simple tap, tap, double tap. It's very nice. Um, then if I uh, flip the mouse over, you have this lovely aluminum underbelly here, which is a uniform piece of aluminum. And we've also got these two fantastic glide rails, which are really useful when maneuvering the mouse on a, on a hard surface or uh, such as this desk, or, or I sometimes just use it on my knee. Uh, like last night when I was um, playing World of Warcraft, I could just move it around my knee, it was very comfortable, and I was very happy with it. So, uh, onto the bottom, uh, the glide rails, we've also got the optical port here, on off switch, which I haven't actually used yet, to be honest with you. Now, if I pop the hood, there we go. You can see my I'm running with Panasonic's in here. And I think they get more energy out of them than I do out of my Duracells, which I was using before. Uh, and I've heard the Energizers are also good, so, um, you know, maybe try them as well. But these are the uh, Volter Panasonics, and I've probably got another month out of them than you folks at home running with an uh, Energizer or, uh, or uh, uh, the uh, Duracell batteries. So, anyway, moving on to the uh, other aspects of the mouse. Uh, I said very easy to use, uh, very easy to uh, click, and uh, click and play, plug and play. Obviously works via Bluetooth uh, with your computer. And it's a fantastic product. I would uh, thoroughly recommend using it. Yeah, use it as effectively, of course, as effectively as you can with a mouse. And um, thank you very much for listening to another Jeffrey Thompson video review of the latest technology in uh, Silicon Valley. Goodbye.